Case number DG 1130, petition for the termination of guardianship. Is the conservator ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. Is the petitioner ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. The petitioner calls Rebecca Meadows to the stand. You've got this, honey. Seat right here. Place your hand on this Bible for me. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Rebecca Meadows, I, Rebecca Meadows, do solemnly swear to tell this court the truth, the whole truth, so help you God. Do solemnly swear to tell this court the truth, the whole truth, so help me God. Does she make good decisions? Doesn't she have cognitive? Can she manage her own finances? You can't trust anything she says. She needs a guardian. You can't trust them.
summation, it is now against company policy for interns to use any and all forklifts. Let's go ahead and wrap up our first meeting with a nice little safety video. Ah, hey everyone. This is bullshit. What you're watching is a recreation of a mishap involving a forklift and a pedestrian. From this viewpoint, there doesn't seem to be a logical reason why this mishap occurred. The pedestrian is walking along a marked walk. So you mean to tell me I can't do donuts in the lot anymore? Zach, you're just a rock. How in the hell are you even operating them? Don't you worry about it, pretty boy. Guys, we need to be getting back on track here. Last week's death 
could totally have been avoidable. Please, everyone, we need... How does a demon die? I mean, aren't we already in hell? You see, hell is layered, kid. Like a chocolate cake. God, I fucking hate cake. You know, it just sits there thinking it's better than everyone else. Just glistening in the light without a goddamn care in the world. Like, who does it think it is? Is it better than us? So, what does that mean if we die? Nothing. Measured against that. There have been no I'm f***ing with you, boyo. You see, hell is in layers, and we're almost at the bottom. The next layer down is referred to as super hell. Reserved only for the darkest of souls. The murderers. The pedophiles. The rapists. And worst of all, the incompetent. Ah! Guys, please. We we need to get back on track here. Oh yeah, we do. Everyone get a load of fish. <gasps> Everyone, we need to move on to employee diversity. What the hell for? We all look the same. Satan says we need to diversify ourselves more in the workplace. Yeah, f that. We can die? What the f Fast mids consumables. Eat those weedy tasty bits. Exercise your hunger today with Beelzepops. Brought to you by Fast mids consumables. Scrotums have been raining from the sky. That Steven also has a car. Yeah. This message was brought to you by Phasmids Consumables and Beelzepops. Get possessed by that cringe-worthy appetite with Beelzepops. What's up everybody, it's your boy here, Unboxing Bobby, welcoming you to What Have We Here? The show where I unbox and review everything from the most famous to the lamest and 
keep you up to date on the latest and the greatest. All right, real quick, I want to send a shout out to our sponsor, Beaver Cleaver, the safer manscaper. And if you did miss our last episode, don't worry, all of my full episodes can be found in the link below. Just go ahead and click on it. And if you uh, like what you see, and uh, let's face it, who wouldn't? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, and you can continue to see this beautiful mug. Now, recently I have been sent a lot, a lot of requests, and I have decided to give in. So, here it is. Very first black market mystery box review. I have been holding off on this for quite a while because, I mean, let's face it, I mean, the dark web, I mean, you shouldn't be spending any substantial amount of time there at all. And obviously, I haven't opened the box yet. I don't know exactly what we're going to find in here. Obviously, I haven't opened it yet. So, uh, viewer discretion is advised. Surprise! <laughs> all right, what do we have here? Well, all right, these are uh, some really cool boxes. All right, interesting design. Nice attention to detail. I can appreciate that. Let's put that one there. Numero dos. Get this out of the way so we can get going. All right. All right, just clear this off. All right. All right, let's see what we have first. What is behind door number one? A flash drive with a note attached to it that just says memories. Okay. Um, probably not going to be using that. Let's move on to door number two. Okay, here we go. I think I wanted one of these when I was in high school. I wonder if there's any minutes left on it. Oh. Turn it on. Okay. Well, all right. And last but not least. Interesting. Uh, last but not least, as I was saying, all right, the heavy one.
device connected. Hello? Oh my god, it's really you! I didn't think you'd get my package, but you did! <laughs> who, who, who is this? Who is this? Don't act like you don't know. It's me! <laughs> wait, 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 who is me? Your biggest fan? Duh. I've been following you for so long. How do you not know? Listen, I had to run some errands and no, get wait, 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 where, where did you get uh -huh. these pictures? The ones in the box. Yes, the ones in the box! <laughs> oh, I took those, silly. They're a memento to all of our past sleepovers. Oh, past sleepovers? <laughs> yes, and I'm making a scrapbook. Oh, you think it's so cute, you have to see it. Alone! I swear I will call the cops! <sighs> Do you know who I am? Who the fuck you are messing with? 6.4 million subscribers! I will ruin you! my name. What do you want from me? To have our sleepover, silly. Oh, you're my fucking muffin. Stop messing around and let me in. No. <laughs> there is no way in hell I am opening this door. Uh, come on, Howie, please. Stop playing around and let me in. I am not opening this door. Now fuck off. You stop calling me that fucking name! Listen here, you little shit! There's no way in hell I am opening this goddamn door! Like that. 
Cooking with Rod and Todd. I'm Todd. And I'm also Todd. And today, we're gonna be stuffing a cat in a meatloaf. You know, I feel like this is more of a dish, and I just want to find time to serve. Hey, Todd, you
Demons try to tear away all that is just left to me. Demons try to tear away all that is just left to me. Demons try to tear away all that that is just left to me. Demons try to tear away all that is just left to me. Demons try to tear away. Demons try to tear away. Ma'am, if I could have a blessed day, I wouldn't be here. Uh huh. Okay. You too. Bye bye now. <sighs> King Quakers. Hi, this is Sam from Crossroads Incorporated. This call may be monitored. Is this Betty Davidson? Excellent. Well, the purpose of my call today, ma'am, is to inform you that your request to sell your soul for a Beelzebub has recently been denied. Please avoid inputting another application for the next 30 days, as it may result in forced spiritual departure to the realm of perpetual torture. We appreciate you thinking of Crossroads, Inc., and look forward to hearing again from you in the future. Sam, your numbers are horrendous! I need you to work through your lunch! Oh, come on again? Yes! Don't want to upset management now, do we? No. Great! Now get back to work or you're fired! Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hello, this is Sam from Crossroads Incorporated. We're reaching out to you today to inform you that your request to sell your soul to be a contest winner on Poco or Die has been denied. Please reach back out to us via ritualistic sacrifice during our normal business hours of 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. We thank you and hope to hear back from you soon. Hey, Zach. I'm kind of confused. Uh, why are there so many rejections? Well, you see, Sham, Shaden figured out how to torture people on Earth. She, if they want something so bad that they're willing to give up their damn soul for it, why not deny them their dreams and make them suffer even more instead? I mean, they'll come here eventually. Wow, that's actually really smart. Get back to work, boys, or you're dead. Hello? Hey, this is Sam from Crossroads Incorporated. This call may be monitored for quality assurance. Is this Philip Cantor? Yeah, this is him. Excellent. Well, the purpose of my call today, Phil, is just to inform you that your request to sell your soul to become a world-renowned accordion player has actually been approved. Now, would you like to sign digitally or via a carrier pigeon? No, no, you don't want to go with the carrier pigeon. Okay, so digitally, perfect. Well, uh, just allow a window of 8 to 10 seconds as the approved documentation shall appear before you. Do you agree to the following terms and conditions? Sell your soul for... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay. I'm signing it, right? Awesome. <clears throat> Done. All right, yeah, it's signed. Uh, perfect, perfect. So as per the Golden Fiddle Act of 84, you do have the right to back out of this deal at any time, uh, so long as you win against Satan in a uh, musical battle to the death. Uh, yes, you, you do have to fight musically to the death. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, a lot of people, uh, they, they don't want to back out anyway, so it works out perfect for everyone. But yeah, please avoid any and all food for the next 37 hours and maintain a distance of six feet from all microwaves for no less than 15 hours. Crossroad Inc. appreciates your business and looks forward to your eternal suffering. Thank you and see you soon, Phil.
thought you said this guy was a trained professional. That's what he said. Behind the scenes is where the actual magic happens. It's where people come together to create something bigger than themselves. It's where laughter and friendship is formed and beautiful bonds are made. It's an inside joke that might perhaps launch the next project idea. It's where people find the real strength in vulnerability and opening up to one another. It's where mistakes create smiles and dreams are ignited. Entertainment is so much more than what you see on screen. Entertainment is behind the scenes. And here, with this team, you might even say it's where you go to exit reality.
I'm going to be as straightforward as I can. There's only so much I can do at this point. And to be honest, there's only so much the church can do at this point as well. What? What are you trying to say? What do you mean? This is my daughter, Father. My baby. There must be another way. Just what are you trying to say, Father? Why isn't God working? It's not that God isn't here, my son. He is truly. It's just this particular entity inhabiting your daughter may require a more unique approach. What do you mean? Well, the church will not authorize me to persist any further in its name. But if you are willing, there may be another option. What is it? We'll do anything, Father, anything! We just want our baby girl back. Then it shall come to pass. Please, come in. Thank you for coming at such short notice. You know I wouldn't have called unless the situation was dire. It's the last room at the end of the hall. It is his way, my son. You must let him work. Trust me. What have we here? Ah. You're not a priest. <laughs> You're something different. Oh. 
come to join the party? Did you come to clean my pipes? Father Dave couldn't get it up with me. He's not man enough. Maybe you got what it takes. Eh, wanna kiss, big boy? can stop the seven coming. The time has arrived. The vessel is chosen.
It's everything. And the demon is expelled? Yep, it's up. Mommy! Another job well done. May the Heavenly Father bless your everlasting soul, for he knoweth what it takes to spare the rod and spoil the child. And now, evil is destroyed, and the young girl has been saved. Yep. See you next time, Father. Who is he? Some sort of angel? That, sir, is my plumber. 